Press gas to accelerate. Hello App Spy fans, it's James here. I'm back once again. It's been a while because I've been away in Helsinki capturing a lot of videos and meeting developers at PG Connect, including the developer of this game right here, AG Drive. As you can see, it is a Wipeout slash F-Zero-esque space racer thingy. Uh, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Look at it, it's amazing. Um, right, so. This hasn't been released properly yet. It's been soft launch in New Zealand, as I understand, and it is mm, not necessarily coming out any everywhere soon. They're still working on it. It's still a kind of mid-development sort of thing, but they've released it early to do some uh, beta-style testing. Now, I'm controlling it via tilt, so as you can see, it's a case of me simply tilting left and right to guide my, ooh, that's crap, uh, zero-g craft around this massive track. I am holding the right-hand side of the screen with my thumb to accelerate, and if I tap this green button on the side here, boom, turbo stuff. Yeah, got to hit all the power-ups as usual, the uh, speed thrusts, sorry. If you're talking about uh, Wipeout, there's a hangover from that series as well as F-Zero. Um, the thing that is immediately striking about this game is obviously the visuals. There have been some Wipeout, I'm going to say clones, <laughs> uncharitably, but that's, let's say, let's be honest here, that's what a lot of them are. Wipeout clones on the App Store. And they have, by and large, been kind of rubbish. Flash Out and Flash Out 2 didn't really cut the mustard. The frame rate was all over the place. Um, and it's been a difficult thing to achieve on mobile, I think. You'd, you'd think with the tilt controls it'd be perfect for the mobile devices, these kind of anti-gravity races. But the problem is that getting the visuals to look right on a mobile device has been tricky because they're quite high intensity and uh, they move incredibly fast. And so when you have a, a ship that is, sorry, a ship, when you have a game that needs to run at a very fast frame rate uh, on a mobile device and moves at a lot of speed, in the past that's been quite difficult to achieve. Here, however, I'm just purchasing my first craft. This is a tutorial. I'm taking you through it right from the beginning. Here, the guys who created this have built their own engine. It's basically one guy doing most of it. And everything you see here, you see this city, you see those 3D buildings that are standing up in the background. They're all there, like, for real. That's actually in the game. And the menu screen that you just saw me on, look at that, for crying out loud. The menu screen you just saw me on is the city map. And you can zoom around it and zoom in and zoom out. It's actually physically there. It's not some 2D wall that's been painted onto a skybox. So... Kudos, huge kudos for the visuals. And the fact is, I'm running this this on an iPod 5th gen, which is about as powerful as an iPhone 4S. And look at how fast it runs. Look at how smooth it is. We're getting very few, if any, frame rate stutters, which is incredibly admirable. Um, and it's there's no issues with draw distance or anything like that. Turbo. Yeah. It just works. And it's smooth and beautiful. And we're really impressed. Just from a mechanical point of view, from a technological point of view. This is a really impressive piece of work. Um, it's a free-to-play game, so the way you play is by, you know, playing through each level, earning gold, the gold coins you saw there. We were gifted 40,000 to buy our first ship, but after that, you need to keep playing and then earn more. Um, I have played it for about 25 minutes, 30 minutes on a Twitch stream the other day. Oops, I am driving rubbishly, but I can't tilt very well because there's this cable coming out of the iPod. I don't want to break it. Uh, we played it on the stream the other day, and it was fun to do. We did hit a point at the end, though, when our energy ran out. So there is an energy system, and you are going to have to grind a bit to get vehicles, enough money for upgrades, and new craft. Though, I do say again, this is in beta and soft launch, so they may change the parameters, how much gold it requires you know, to buy a ship and how long it takes to earn it and so forth, depending on feedback and stuff. So nothing's set in stone right now. However, it took part in the Big Indie Pitch, which is uh, an event that we hold at PG Connects, which is a, a kind of conference that Steel Media, our parent company, throws, where we get loads and loads of developers and publishers and everyone to come together. Uh, and meet each other and connect. And the Big Indie Pitch is kind of what it sounds. It's almost like an X Factor sort of thing where we get loads and loads of developers and publishers together. And uh, they have three minutes to show us their game. And at Helsinki, where we were at the other day, there were literally like 55 of them. And the whole thing took hours, but it's ace for us because we get to see loads of games we wouldn't necessarily otherwise have seen and actually talk to the developers firsthand. And it's a great way to get 
games which don't necessarily have publishing from you know huge backers and can get lots of promotion it's a great way for us to just see them when we wouldn't necessarily have done and this is one of the games that we saw so the creator is a, uh, a company called Zorg and I think it's basically a sort of well one guy does the majority of the work we've interviewed him and there'll be information going up later in another video we do which kind of gives you a feel for the event and what it's all about and it'll appear on our sister site pocket gamer at some point but uh peter was absolutely blown away by it i had my slight reservations about it because i love wipeout i really really love wipeout and so when you see games that are clearly aping it so obviously i tend to think like oh really another one of these do we really need another one because you know can't we make original games and stuff but Saying that, there is a hole on iOS for a good Wipeout or F-Zero style game. The Flashout ones really didn't deliver as far as I'm concerned. And if you are a big fan and you wanted something like it to play on the go, this is the best I've seen. In terms of mechanics, in terms of control, in terms of visuals, this is far and away the best one that I have ever played, easily. The way the free-to-play works may be the thing that holds it back from greatness. But look at the city, look, that city's there. We're zooming through it right now and going through the tunnel, but it's it's astonishingly impressive. I am, I mean, hats off to them for getting this out of a mobile device. I gotta say, just like huge thumbs up to the guys involved. But we'll have to hold judgment and see whether the free to play model becomes restrictive because that is my concern, I'll be quite honest with you. It's available for free on the New Zealand App Store, but that's it at the moment. You're not going to be able to get it worldwide for a little while. Uh, I don't know precisely when it will appear, but obviously we'll notify you the moment it becomes available, and then you can all make your own judgments when it hits the world. These tracks are huge. Look at the size of this lap. Look at the, look at the lens flare. I mean, we were playing this on an iPad, uh, uh, iPad Air, the newest one, and we were thinking like, yeah, that's on an iPad Air. As soon as we put this on an old iPhone, it's going to just chug uh, like a beast. And this, like I say, a 5th gen iPod Touch, which isn't the most powerful device in the world by a long shot, and it just runs phenomenally. And there you go. Glorious victory for me. Um, naturally. It's called AG Drive. New Zealand App Store for free right now. Look, I'm just going to show you this really quickly before I go. Look at this. That's the city. That's the city we were in and racing around. Look, look at the cars moving on the motorway and all the buildings in 3D. Look at that. That, that my friend, that is... Uh, an eye for detail and attention, and I gotta salute that. So yeah, if you're in New Zealand, you can have a look right now. If not, I will we'll keep you informed as to when you can play it globally. Thanks for watching, everybody, and nice to be back. Bye-bye. This has been James with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.